Well, for sure, our biggest concern is our people in Russia, right? We have 3,500 employees. You just mentioned that. That's uh, our deepest concern uh, because most of the business has, uh, has stopped, right? Because of the sanctions and all the uh, non-economic uh, things, we, we can't just handle this business anymore uh, due to all the limitations which are there. So the business has stopped in a wide scale. And our biggest concern, obviously, is the welfare of our people. We continue paying the wages, but still, if you can't produce and can't operate factories and can't develop things, uh, people are always at risk also under the legal circumstances, so that's our biggest concern. And about the, uh, the um, messages we got uh, through the control units which were found in some vehicles in the Russian military, we are investigating that. We are very much interested to fully understand what the background of that, and we are fully investigating that right now, and that, therefore I can't comment too much on that. But uh, be sure that we fully go into this and understand it completely. Just, uh, I mean, obviously there is a, a, an economic impact. How do you replace the 1.2 billion euros worth of sales from that market? Well, that impact is there. On the other hand, we are in some areas obviously under shortage conditions. So some of the material which normally would flow to Russia is flowing anywhere else. Um, that's for sure a, a counter effect. But it is an impact and it will impact us hard. Uh, but that's what we have to face, right? This is reality and we have to do other things. It won't have such a detrimental effect on turnover because, as I said, the demand is there. It's rather a supply shortage market right now. And Stefan, just briefly, as we, as we look at the, the global market opportunity for you going forward, can you give us some sense of where you're still seeing resilience? Because here we are on the second day of a Federal Reserve meeting. We're expecting a 50 basis point hike. We know interest rates are going up in other markets as well. Is that affecting the discretionary sales of your customers uh, or purchases if you like of your products right now what are you seeing can you give us a, 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 a real sense of uh, up-to-date business activity in your different geographies well, for sure we see a big recession in the making but that's exactly what we see it's in the making there is still an overhanging demand because of the COVID crisis, we just are about to leave. It's still there and you see it heavily hitting us in China, but you see that a lot of areas in the world, the demand of consumers has already even been increased in some areas. So in household appliances, we had a steep increase in demand. We have also in power tools and those areas. Also vehicles, we haven't built all the vehicles. Our customers couldn't build them because there was no supply available for these vehicles. So there's an overhanging demand in many areas. That means for a certain amount of time, this demand will still be there, even even while we see the, the um, interest increase and we see the pricing increase, but over time, you know, at some point in time, it won't be just a supply crisis, it will be also demand crisis, and then for sure we're in a deep recession.